Welcome back, Wow Family, and today is a great day. Do you know why? It's because I am back finally with another video. I think I just broke whatever I'm sitting on. But anyway, yes, it's been like a week and a half or two weeks, and there's no excuse for me why I haven't been posting, but I will say that I'm back to do my daily schedules as Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I know today's Tuesday, but starting I believe tomorrow there's another video going up tomorrow and I'm gonna be posting regularly Monday Wednesday and Friday like I'm supposed to be doing like I promised you like I promised myself this year but without rambling on and stuff like that let's get into this video so today in today's video we're gonna be as you guys know by the title we're gonna be looking at the funniest test questions and answers of all different children and different grades and everything I've seen so many videos on this and I just I just decided, hey, let let me try to do that. Let me see how I can make it funny and how my expression would be. So I'm gonna be looking at five to six questions and then give you my honest feedback on it. So please bear with me, guys. Okay, so I have here question one. How would you make a marriage work? Tell your wife she looks pretty, even if she looks like a dump truck. I mean, I mean that's one way to doing it. But honestly, let's just be honest. If your wife, if your wife looks like a dump truck, just tell her. Like, don't embarrass yourself. Don't embarrass the wife. That. What's the point of being married if you can't be completely honest with her? I know for me, if I if I had a wife, which I know I don't, but if I had a wife or a significant other, and they ask me for my honest opinion, I'm gonna give them my honest opinion. No matter how it comes out, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be blunt, and a story. Okay, next question. In one word, describe school. This kid put in all caps, well not all caps, sorry, he's not texting. This kid put, and all bold words. Letters. Hell. I think this is funny because me personally, I love going to school. I've never hated school whatsoever. But I, I always wanted to see why kids and everyone thought school was hell or they hated it when you could be more intelligent on what you're trying to learn about be with your friends, be away from your family, just do whatever you want, and then you have to get home and then be a different person. But, in my honest opinion, I love school, I still do. I highly recommend it. Hell, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in school right now, so I obviously have to love it. I would be going to school if I hated it, so. There you go, guys. Next question. What is love? And their answer is, baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this was so funny, but that song is hilarious. I love that song. I'm so, whoever sent this, whoever wrote this is a genius. I love that. That answer, I would have given you a hundred on that paper if I saw that. I love it. <laughs> okay, next question. Why are there rings on Saturn? The answer is because God liked it, so he put a ring on it. I mean, that's one way to put it. How many rings does Saturn have? One or two? I don't know, but God must have liked it a lot if you put more than one ring on it, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. And the teacher said Saturn was not a single lady. Oh, so what the teacher was meaning to say is that Saturn was cheating on someone with God. Uh-uh. Mm. Can't trust these hoes these days. Even they, if they are a planet. Uh -huh. This one says, 
Miranda can't see anything when she looks down her microscope. Should suggest one reason why. Someone said, because she is blind. <laughs> when I saw this, I don't know why, but I thought of Helen Keller. And then I also thought about my parents' new dog they just had. They named her Helen, because she's blind and deaf. She can't see anything. And I'm probably gonna insert a photo of the dog now. She's so pretty, she's so old, and she's so nice. When she smells you, she gets so happy. I love that dog, she's so old, she's been through a lot. And I'm glad my parents took her from the shelter. But I don't know why I thought of Helen Keller and then of my dog. But whoever wrote this, shame on you for suggesting that because she's blind. When I was looking at a telescope or a microscope, I couldn't see anything because one, the light probably wasn't on, or two, it wasn't focused enough for my vision. So that's the right answer. Okay, next question, guys. Now, this one was a spelling test. The, the answers were citizenship, monarchy, um, dominance, correspondence, illiterate, emphasize, opposition, chlorine, commotion, Meta, meta something. The only one they got right was illiterate. And you know what the teacher said? I blurted it out because I didn't want anyone to know who this was. The teacher said, at least you know. At least you know you're illiterate. I would have, if that was me and I saw that on my paper, I would have smacked the hell out that teacher. Call me illiterate because I don't know these damn words, these big ass words. So I'm gonna, nowadays they be giving these kids in first grade these big ass words. I don't know how and I don't know why. Last question for this video. If I am late for class, I will. And the student says, burst into class and come in on Mr. Thomas's mustache? <laughs> Mr. Thomas will blush and say thanks. Okay, you could either go one or two ways with this. You comment on his mustache, he could either be like, oh, thank you, I just groomed it, you know, it's looking a little nice, you know, you know, you know, you know. Or, you can have one of those sour, I mean, sour, stanky draws teachers and be like, take your, and you know they be wanting to cuss at you, but they be like, you know what? the office right now. Go to the office right now. I don't want to hear you and deal with you. Disrupt my class. But in their head, they'd be like, if you don't get your yellow belly, redneck looking ass out my class with your... But guys, <laughs> that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video. Subscribe if you are new and turn on the bell notification so you can know when I do post videos on YouTube. And I will be more active, like I said. Like I said, there's another video coming tomorrow so I can be back on schedule. But without further ado, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Right now in Atlanta, it's raining, so what better way to do this? Plus I'm off. So until next time, guys, bye.